to another exciting cooking adventure with Vic. In today's adventure, we're going to debone a Cornish hen, but the same method applies to chicken or any kind of fowl. We'll then reassemble the deboned Cornish hen with stuffing, making it look like the original Cornish hen, except it, it will be boneless and it will be easy to slice and serve. You will need a sharp deboning knife, a spatula, and a stuffing mix. To reassemble it, you'll just need some string and a pair of scissors to cut the extra string. Now before I continue with today's adventure, I want to tell you about this wine. This is the wine that I'll be serving with dinner tonight. It's an Argentinian rosé. And what's different about this rosé is that it's made from the Malbec grape. It is not a blend of different wines. It is purely a Malbec rosé. It is a wonderful, wonderful wine. Fruity, soft, a perfect food wine, as well as a perfect socializing wine. It'll make a wonderful accompaniment with fowl. The process of deboning the Cornish hen, or, or any fowl, begins by making an incision in the back part of the, of the hen. There are two parts that you need to be careful about. One is the breast. The breast bone is a cartilage that needs to be cut just below the skin. If you try to remove the skin from the cartilage, it will probably tear. So it's best to leave a small amount of cartilage intact. The other part that it's a little dicey is the back right here. It's a, it's a very thin layer of meat. Keep the boning knife as close to the carcass as possible to avoid punching through the skin. And once I've started the initial incision, I'll be using my finger to actually separate the meat from the bone. This system works very well and it prevents accidental puncturing of the skin. Now, I'll remove all the bones with the exception of the wings and the drumstick. I will be removing the thigh and in order to remove the thigh from the hand, I'll have to crack the joint using the boning knife. And as I proceed with the deboning function, I will actually be turning the skin of the chicken inside out. So, let's get started. Begin by puncturing very close to the carcass very close to the bone, little initial cut, like that. Large enough for me to put my finger through, like so. Now, simply work your way to end, separating the meat from the bone. Up here is uh, the cartilage I was telling you about, which is part of the, uh, the breast bone. Just work your way down separating the meat from the carcass. Here is the, the, uh, the thigh bone I was telling you about. You can see the bone protruding out. And I'm separating the, uh, the meat from the bone. And at this point I will crack the bone at the joint. Just like that and remove it. So that part is done. And here I'm very carefully going to separate the cartilage of the breastbone. Be sure to point your knife down inward so that you don't puncture the skin. And now I can start on the other side with my finger separating the meat from the bone. I have just separated the breastbone from the skin. I'm working my way down to the thigh. Here 
your second thigh bone. Crack it, remove it. Be sure to press the knife next to the carcass as close as possible. There, the bone has now been removed from the Cornish ham. And as I said, I turned it inside out in the process, and now I'm assembling it back together again. And here is the deboned, deboned Cornish ham. It's completely boneless except for the wings and the drumsticks. The next step, I'll fill it with stuffing. I'm going to use a spatula to stuff the Cornish ham. And the idea is to add just enough stuffing to reconstitute the shape of the original Cornish ham. Squeezing to get it into the cavities. With the stuffing inside, the Cornish ham looks almost like its original shape, except that it's boneless. And in the final step, I'm going to tie it off with string to keep it in shape. To tie it, fold the string into two halves, and by begin by making a figure eight around the drumsticks, like so. Now bring the string together. Then around the back. And back toward the front. Find the wings as you go along, like so. Cut off the extra string with a pair of scissors. And here we have it, a reassembled Cornish hand, stuffed with a savory stuffing, ready for the oven.